Houston, we have a problem. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. Democrats have a problem with male black voters. Vice President Kamala Harris is quietly trying to fix it. According to an article in USA Today, let's get right down to the nitty-gritty of this. The Biden administration appears to be paying close attention to criticism that Democrats only engage with black voters during election cycles without delivering on the issues they care about. Vice President Kamala Harris, who is playing a crucial role in the administration's outreach quietly, met last week with students and civil rights organizers to solicit ideas on how the Biden administration can lift up young black men. In the private meeting, attendee detailed ways the White House can help young men of color improve their livelihoods. Harris also wanted to know how the White House can assist young black men with overcoming stigmas. Attendees of the hour-long discussion with Harris said the conversation continued with senior aides to the vice president after she departed. She left with the impression that the White House is looking to expand on its policies, they said, and improve its engagement with young men of color. The purpose of the meeting really was for them to listen, for her to listen, her team to listen, and really figure out how to dig deep and think through an intentional plan around engaging black men, particularly young black men in this country, who don't see themselves in the process, but most importantly, to address their concerns and issues. NAACP National Vice President of Membership, Dominique Whitehead, said, Whitehead said the vice president told attendees that she would listen and take back everything that you listed and figure out what is our game plan as the administration builds out a strategy attendees can be involved in. Harris and her team were adamant about keeping the more than 30 participants apprised of what they do and what they plan on doing, said Talik Mac Macmillian. The current manager of State Outreach Credit Union National Association and a former civil rights organizer. The vice president shared multiple times how it was a priority for them and they will continue to engage us moving forward as they are in the planning process of whatever they come up with or announce, Mac Millian said. The meeting comes as President Joe Biden prepares to give his State of the Union address and possibly announce a re-election bid and in the wake of a midterm cycle in which many black male voters said they feel abandoned by the Democratic Party. Black women vote at higher rates for the Democratic Party compared to black men. During the 2020 presidential election, 95% of black women voted for Biden while 87% of black men voted for him, according to the Pew Research Center. Harris has been holding listening sessions with civil rights leaders, abortion rights activists, students, and others. Two days before Harris's meeting with young black men, Biden emphasized his administration's efforts to pass federal voting rights reforms during a Sunday sermon at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. The following day, at a Washington, D.C. breakfast hosted by the National Action Network, a civil rights organization founded by the Reverend Al Sharpton, Biden spoke at length about policies and administration put in place that are intended to improve the lives of black Americans. On this one and so much, I have your back, Biden told breakfast, I mean, on this one and so much, I have your back, Biden told breakfast attendees. Systemic racism and inequities in the criminal justice system have long hindered black men's employment and financial security. Black men were one of the hardest hit groups economically during the COVID-19 pandemic. In June 2020, the black male unemployment rate hit 16%, while the overall unemployment rate was 11.1%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. That is basically what they're trying to say, I guess, coded for white men. Whitehead said the vice president's office approached the NAACP, which ultimately sent more than a dozen of its members to meet with Harris, and said it wanted to speak with black men ages 18 to 35. Students from Harvard University, UCLA, and Morehouse College and organizers affiliated with the National Urban League and National Action Network also attended the meeting. 
so did climate activists, union workers, and individuals affected by hurricanes in Puerto Rico. Individuals who participated in the meeting said, the Vice President's uh, Chief Economic Advisor, uh, Denis Millicent, was among the Harris aides who sat in on the closed-door meeting. Harris's office declined to make Millicent available for an interview. I think I mispronounced uh, her, the name. My apologies. Attendees said that the conversation focused on economic empowerment and opportunity for communities of color and touched on black entrepreneurship, the racial uh, wealth gap, disproportionately high rates, uh, high interest rates for black borrowers, barriers for home ownership, inflated rental prices, mental health programs, criminal justice reform, and equitable access to good paying jobs. The vice president she was very attentive in the conversation, said Macmillan, a former national youth director for and senior policy advisor to Sharpton's group. It was an authentic conversation. She kept it real. Macmillan said she told the group about the need to ensure that financial institutions such as credit unions have the resources to invest in low-income communities. He said a conversation also took place about how the White House can engage young people on these issues through social media. This is a rather lengthy article, but I'll try to get it all in here. So, where did I leave off at? Uh, you know what? I'll make this a part two. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit. <laughs>